Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Planet Coaster. Look, this is me. I'm wearing a hat. I don't know why my beard looks a bit grey. It's definitely not grey. Oh, hello. I just waved. Anyway, I want to tell you a story. Since the dawn of time, architects have intentionally tormented and ruined the otherwise peaceful lives of engineers. From complaining that their physics-defying drawing of a house is impossible to build, to wearing turtlenecks and using the word quirky. Us engineers, we've had enough. And today I'm going to use the power of engineering to bring an unusual concept to life. Well, at least in Planet Coaster. Now, you've probably ridden a roller coaster before. Great fun. Designed to make you feel like you're going to die, but engineered to be perfectly safe. However, in 2010, a man named Huynes Abonos came up with a roller coaster literally designed to kill you. This is what it looked like, and it was called the Euthanasia Coaster. And so I've made myself an aptly named level where we'll be recreating this. So I've made sure this level is tall enough because the Euthanasia Coaster is pretty tall. So first off, we need to find a suitable roller coaster. Oh man, they've added a lot of coasters since I last played this. Right, what do we want to go with? All right, I think something standard. Standard, the looping coaster, the American Arrow. And we're going to plonk it here. Now, the original one could hold 12 people. So each of these can hold four. So four, eight, 12. There we go. So that's the perfect length. Next up, we need a chain lift. And of course, that's going to go straight up. And now the height of this coaster was 510 meters. So we're going to try and get the exact same height. Oh wow, 510 meters is really, really high. We've actually capped out at 495, which means we need to edit the terrain so we can go lower. So we're going to make a nice hole like that. Then we're going to do flatten. Then we're literally going to eat up the entire level so it's all a lot lower. Right, that's much better. Then back to building this. Hopefully we can get to 510 meters this time. Yes. So there is 510 meters. That is so damn tall. For context, the tallest roller coaster in the world right now is 139 meters tall. It's it's like down there somewhere. So you can sort of see why this was intended for people to die. But yeah, next up, we, we lose the chain and we aim straight down. Now, I sort of want to make this the same angle as we came up in. So we want this to be 60 degrees. Close enough. <laughs> And then we just build all of these straight down to ground level. All right, and then we have a series of loops. Now, the idea of these loops were to keep a constant 10G force on the user. Now, the trouble is I'm not sure if I can see the G until we start testing. And also, that's as large as we can make a loop. So that's probably going to be too much, but we'll see. I mean, the other way of doing this is I could just do these manually. But I think let's just make these smaller as they go on. So there's seven seven in a row and each loop gets smaller. Anyway, we can start the test so we can see what the g-forces go up to just to see if these loops are big enough because they do look very small compared to the, the incredible height of the drop at the start. All right, so the coaster is away. The operator looks like they know what they're doing. You've just sent loads of crash dummies to their death. How do you feel? It's like, oh, did I? Did I? Anyway, there they are coming up the hill. The brave, brave soldiers. I mean, we can even ride this. I wonder how high is... Oh, God, it looks quite high already. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm not sure about this either. Now, on the real hypothetical coaster, it took two minutes to get from the bottom to the top up the hill lift. Uh, looking at the dates on here, it looks like it's going to take two months for us to get to the top of this one. <laughs> I'm fast forwarding at full speed and we're only about halfway. Anyway, we're finally here. We're going to be dropping down. I can't even see the bottom. It's so far down. Okay, we are away. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to compare stats wise. We're meant to hit terminal velocity pretty much. Oh, it looks fairly smooth to be fair. So there's four of the loops done. And then obviously we crashed because we didn't finish. All right, and as the sun sets, we're doing it again. But I've got the heat map turned on so we can literally see what the Gs are like. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, so this one might be a little bit too dangerous. We've got to reduce this down to 10. We actually hit 44 Gs down here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the speed was pretty much spot on. Apparently, the real one went 220 miles an hour. This goes 216. And perhaps if we smooth this bottom out to be a bit more realistic, uh, it might be okay. Okay, let's carry on editing. So we're going to build this first loop manually because it's going to have to be big to try and stay at 10 Gs. Oh, wow. So we've got the results for my previous run. We still get down to 17 and 20 Gs. 
So the loop really has to be huge. Oh, there you go. I think that's a much better line, the one I did up there in purple. All right, we got some results. We got some results. We're on 9G, 8G. Oh, we go down to 6. We might need to go a little bit tighter. Now, roller coaster design is hard. It's not just trial and error, I'll tell you that much. There is engineering going on to make sure that's a constant 10G. All right, we are definitely in the right ballpark. They're all like around 10, 11 ish. All right, there we go. The numbers are in. I would say average. That's about 10. That's pretty good, Matt. Good job. <laughs> And from here, it's sort of looking like the real one did, like heightways. So I don't know if that's a testament to this game being like super realistic, but uh, fair play. All right, so I think I'm pretty much done. As people enter the park, they'll come up this ramp and they'll get to here and they will see this, the last roller coaster they'll ever see in their lives. So all we got to do now is do a little path. And we've just got to go from here over to there where the entrance is. All right, so we have a pathway down there, a very, very efficient pathway. We have an entrance there an exit there. We then have our queue path so people can come past this very trustworthy bloke to buy a ticket. No, oh, apparently we can't. He's saying, he's saying no, we can't. He's literally advertising people not to come on this ride. But anyway, the park is open. Our first couple of guests are in and they've decided to go home. Free park entry. Awesome. There isn't much more I want to do in this park. Hmm. Right, we've attracted a couple and a child. Hopefully they will want to take their own lives on a roller coaster today. <laughs> They look keen, they are in, and they've decided against it as well. Oh, I've just worked out why. I've worked out why he's saying no to everyone, why everyone doesn't want to go on the ride, because it's not open yet. So, the euthanasia coaster is now open. You can see excitement rating 2.29, the fear rating is 20, and the nausea rating is 15. Well, that is because the seven loops keep us above 10G the entire time. So, as you rush around there, the blood will leave your brain. And essentially, that's how this ride kills you. And actually, there's quite a few guests coming to check it out. I wonder if any will actually get on the ride, and I wonder how they'll cope. I mean, 10 G, although it's like more than a rocket taking off, even more than an F1 car going around a corner, there will be some people that will be able to survive this ride. Anyway, I reckon we'll take a first person ride. We're the only person on this. But anyway, after reaching the top, the real one actually stops. It has a button because it's taken so long to get up here. You might have changed your mind that you want to commit suicide. Right. So anyway, we're, we're coming down the 500 meter hill. Now we're over the first of seven loops. 10 G's as the blood rushes from our brain into our feet. And I imagine our eyesight will start to go black as we start to disappear from reality. And then we make it round the final few loops. And only the very, very hardcore will survive it. Oh god, and if they do survive, they're... <laughs> There's a bit of a brutal corner at the end. But then this bit, if you have made it and your brain hasn't imploded, then this is actually a really smooth little end. Although apart from this corner here, this could hurt. And then that is the end of the ride. Now, sadly, it seems all my guests, they didn't even get to the ride before they turned around. And as you can see here, most people, they think it's way too scary. Well, it is sort of meant to be scary. I mean, literally look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's brutal. 500 meters. You see the max speed is 215 miles an hour. Ticket price. Maybe it's the ticket price. Let's let's lower that way down. It's now free. There you go, guys. The things I do for my guests. All right. Well, that's disappointing. Pretty much everyone is leaving. Although, <gasps> there's an engineer. We've attracted an engineer. Look, look. Oh, oh no. It's just... <laughs> I thought she was wearing a yellow hard hat. Anyway, despite the incredible view of the roller coaster, people are too scared to use it. So we're going to have to try and euthanize people in a slightly different way. Now, first off, I think I do actually want to attract some guests. So I'm going to make some rides that they can actually use. So we got one of those there, another one there. And then we got this ride here. So that looks very attractive to me. I think the guests are going to come flying in. So we'll get that all open. Yes, you can see it's working. The guests are coming flying in. Now, next up, I'm going to build another coaster. I think we're going to be using this, the dive coaster. Now, the reason I like this coaster is it's a vertical drop one, and it's got this, the dive drop holding section, which allows people to sort of hold on the end, looking straight down to their doom. Uh, granted, I imagine no one's actually going to go on this coaster, but it should help with some things. Right, so we're going to go up a lift, and we'll just build for quite a bit. And as you can see, sort of, we're actually higher than... <laughs> 
Why can't I see? We're actually higher than the euthanasia coaster. So this should be pretty damn good. So we're going to take a left. You got to make sure that this line here is lined up with that. So we'll make that a little bit bigger. And I think that's good. And then we're just going to keep going forwards a little bit. Because you can see below we're not actually in the right place. So we'll go right a little bit. And back left to straighten up. And then we've got the drop hold section. Where people will just be held there looking straight down. Before this bit where that looks pretty good. So our guests seem to be enjoying our blue balls. We've got quite some cues forming. So let's give this a test. And we'll give it a little ride as well. Let's, let's see what it's all about. Oh god it's so high. <laughs> That, that up there is where we end up looking straight down. And imagine if this actually broke down and you had to use those stairs. Guess think Blue Ball has a long queue sign. Well, don't worry, I'll be putting them out of their misery in just a short while. We don't look down. It's too far. It's it, literally too far to even look down. A pretty nice view up here, though. All right, anyway, we made it to the top. My, my legs are dangling. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually feeling quite nervous. Now remember, we're not actually expecting people to ride this. The euthanasia occurs at the bottom. Although if anyone does ride this, I imagine they probably won't make it either. I mean, honestly, just being suspended this high up for this long, it takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably enough for some people. Anyway, about 10 minutes later of being pushed along by tires, we're finally at the end. And uh, thankfully, there's there's a nice safety barrier here. Just in Oh, God, we're going straight over. Oh, goodness. We're being suspended. Oh, I don't like this, do you? Oh, God, we're off. We're off. Right. Oh, oh there's no one there. There was no one there. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, a vertical drop. What speed did we actually hit? Only 210. I thought we'd go a bit faster than that. Anyway, the plan was to take out a few people, but that didn't really work. But if I've eyed this in correctly, I think this is why roller coasters are so safe. Like, I've spent nearly four years trying to get a roller coaster that will kill people. <laughs> And uh, we still haven't quite managed it, although I'm sort of hoping that this one will. So we'll just stay looking here. Ready? No. Oh, we did. We got two. We got two of them. Oh, no, they're getting up. They're getting up. Oh, they're okay. They're okay. They're actually happy about it. Wait, are you happy or are you lost? I think they're lost. They're like, I can't see the path. I don't know where we are. All right, what's your name anyway? Chol, the architect? Quite a weird name. What about your name, little boy or girl? Oh, wow. Your name is literally Dots. And your information was hit by a coaster car. Anyway, don't worry, guys. I've got you. I've got you. I'll put you somewhere safe. Right, this is kind of creepy. I'm like moving my mouse up and down like that. You can see the shadow is getting longer. <laughs> yeah, this game's a little bit weird. A little bit weird. Anyway, let's place them up here. Because that definitely looks safe. <laughs> Oh, it is. I'm not gonna lie, like when I saw this thing like in documentaries and things, I had no idea it was this big. It's absolutely insane. 500 meters is so tall. But not only that, to get loops that do 10 Gs rather than like 60 or something. I just really wasn't expecting loops to be that big. And actually this sort of reminds me, I played this like five, six years ago, like when it first came out. I'm pretty sure I built a roller coaster designed to kill you as well. So if I come into the options and I load one of my old parks, could it possibly be Puss Park? Oh no, that's when I tried to make Shrek. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> Look at that. Perhaps it was country. Oh no, this was the one where I made the Japanese flag <laughs> from above. Perhaps it's the aptly named Death Park. Yes, this is the one that I remember. This is... <laughs> This was definitely one of mine. So a proper euthanasia coaster. This is one where your legs dangle. It's an inverted coaster. And as you can see, you start off with a nice bit of flame in front of you. So the ground drops away and we are off. We go through the flames. Ah! <laughs> it's quite warm, isn't it, mate? Anyway, after we head around this corner, we're on to the steep hill incline. It gives you sort of a little look at what's coming later on. But for now, we'll just enjoy our slow ride upwards while we contemplate where life went wrong. Perhaps we'll think about all those architects that tried to wrong us. Or maybe we were the architect and that's why we've ended up on this ride. Anyway, it's night time. We finally reached the top and a new morning dawns. And thankfully for us, we're at the end of the hill lift. We get to go down with the help of gravity. 
So, how does this work again? Oh yes, that's it. We go down a death spiral that's very, very jagged. We're building up speed like anything and then ow, 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 ow. Left, right, left, right, left, right. And then a nice little burn into the station. And there we go, we're done. Oh no, it's going around again. No, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was Planet Coaster. That was the Euthanasia Coaster, the real one versus my one, which was better. In case you were wondering what was at the bottom of my one as well, we had these very sharp turns, no banked corners here, followed by just more flame. So I recommend you vote for me in the comments, but feel free to vote for the real one. I will say peace, love, and very efficient looking mountains. Bye, guys.